And um, now that I think about it, I do I do have a I do have a, a tournament idea. Um, I'm still kind of thinking this through. They should have a a style points tournament. Like yeah, you you, know, you still get the standard points, you know, like one for a win, zero for a loss, but um um you get you also get additional style points based on what character you use to win your rounds with. Like if you if you're winning your rounds with say Akuma or Vega, you get zero style points. But um if you're winning game if you're winning games with say Hugo like the the big huge massive guy, I guess he's supposed to be supposed to be one of the lowest tier characters ever. If you're winning games with him, you get like ten style points. I mean that's a pretty impressive feat if you're if you're winning matches with like a real crappy character like him. So I mean I think they should have something like that now. You should get additional points, uh, additional points based on the tier of character you're using. It'll probably make for a lot more exciting and more watchable tournaments. Cause I mean, I think I've watched, I've also watched a few. Um, I think it was Mortal Kombat 10. Uh, I think I've watched a few Mortal Kombat 11. 11 tournaments too, and it's like you keep seeing the same freaking character over and over. It's like Jackie Briggs and uh, Cassie Cage. It's like damn near every every single one of those matches has what has uh, one or both of those characters. Like boring. So I'm guessing um those two characters must be super over overpowered. I think probably um the one drawback I could think of to that probably something like uh you probably also have to set up a lot of games though they had like really super long tournaments because uh you want the guy who's gonna use nothing but cassie cage slash akuma slash uh slash vega i mean you want you want players like them to be able to have a chance of winning the tournaments too so in order for that to be possible you'd have to make um you'd have to make like several several games because they're going to just be getting one point, 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 one point. Because all they're going to be getting is a one single point for a win all the way through. I'm also thinking they might also, they could uh, open the door for some backdoor politics too. They could uh, start doing win trading, win trading between uh, corrupt players. Point shaving also comes to mind, but I don't know how that would fit in there. I'm just rattling stuff off.